Refueling with LNG is safe, fast and easy. But it's important that you understand how to refuel correctly and safely. This video shows you how to do that. Exposure to LNG can cause severe cold burns or symptoms of frostbite. It's therefore essential to wear personal protective equipment while refueling to protect yourself from coming into contact with LNG or cold surfaces. Closed shoes, long trousers, cryogenic gloves, long sleeves and a visor. Smoking, naked flames and the use of electronic equipment such as mobile phones are prohibited during refueling operations. On arrival at the station, note the location of the emergency shutdown buttons, the intercom, fire extinguishers and assembly points. Read all signage and instructions on display. In case of emergency, press the emergency button to shut down the LNG fueling system, evacuate the area and, if it's safe to do so, notify staff via the intercom. Whenever you need technical assistance, when in doubt about the availability of the dispenser, notice any damage or abnormalities, please contact staff via the intercom system for immediate assistance. Let's get started. Park your vehicle, engage the parking brake and turn off the engine. Check the availability of the dispenser. A red light indicates the dispenser is not available. A green light indicates the dispenser is available. Put on your personal protective equipment. Connect the earthing cable to the earthing point on the vehicle tank. Once the earthing cable has been connected correctly, the truck symbol will appear on the dispenser and the green light on the LNG nozzle bay will turn on. Remove the tank cap and clean the tank receptacle with the air gun. To activate the air gun, press air. This remains active for around 30 seconds and may need to be reactivated. Take the LNG nozzle from the holder and clean it with the air gun. Removing any dirt or water from the connections is essential to prevent damage to the station or vehicle. If the nozzle is equipped with a red safety button on top, push it to open the handles all the way. Gently push the handlebars towards your vehicle. Do not use excessive force or jam the nozzle. This can cause serious damage to the vehicle's LNG receptacle and the nozzle, and in the worst case may lead to accidental product spillage. Check the pressure in the vehicle tank. If it's above 10 bar, the pressure must be reduced. This is done by following the vapour return procedure. Open the vapour return valve on the vehicle tank. Gas automatically flows into the LNG dispenser. This process can take several minutes. Monitor the pressure and manually close the vapour return valve on the truck when the pressure drops below 10 bar. Keep the LNG nozzle connected and continue the refuelling procedure. If available at the station, select the blue button, Extra Cold LNG. Go to the payment terminal located near the dispensers and start a new transaction by inserting your Shell LNG card. Shell LNG refuelling stations can only be activated with an authorised Shell LNG card. Therefore, the dispenser will not activate until you have inserted your card and the transaction has been authorised. Follow the instructions on the display. Select the Shell LNG product. Enter your PIN code and, if applicable, mileage and or vehicle ID. Select the dispenser and when the PIN has been approved, you have 90 seconds to start refuelling. To start refueling, press the green start button and keep it pressed during the fueling process. A new symbol then appears on the dispenser display, the pump starts to run and the LNG flows into the tank of the truck. Refueling stops automatically when the button is released. Note that it's normal for ice crystals or vapour to form during fueling. Refueling automatically stops when your tank is full. You may now release the start button. Disconnect the LNG nozzle by gently pulling the handlebars away from the truck. Press the red button on the nozzle to fully open the handlebars and only then disconnect the nozzle from the receptacle. Use the air gun to clean the LNG nozzle again and place it back into the nozzle holder at the dispenser. Clean the LNG receptacle on the truck with compressed air and replace the tank cap. Disconnect the earthing cable and return it to its proper location on the dispenser cabinet. You have finished refuelling your LNG truck. 
you may now remove your personal protective equipment. Return to the payment terminal to complete your transaction. Before starting your vehicle, please ensure that all nozzles, hoses and earthing cables have been disconnected and properly stowed. The tank cap has been properly attached to the tank again and all valves are closed and the vehicle and LNG installation are free of leaks. Different stations might have minor design differences. The site-specific instructions are always on display at the station.